Chris, and today I'll be showing the importance of making sure the actuator arm is tight. If the actuator arm rod is not correctly positioned, it will not allow this rear flapper to open. So the turbo will overboost, causing significant problems. If the actuator arm is not tight enough, the boost pressure within the rear housing can push the flapper open and release before the desired boost pressure. If the turbo is not reaching your desired boost level or is reaching it but only at the top part of the RPM, then remove the lines from the boost actuator, remove the actuator rod like so by removing the pin and the rod and leaving it just resting. Next, grab pointy nose pliers or bulldog pliers. On the dyno, hold the flap shut. Then proceed a dyno run while checking the boost levels. The turbo should make way above the desired boost level and extremely quick. So that means that this is too loose and allowing back pressure to open the flap by itself. Adjusting the actuator arm length is quite simple. We remove and we release the nut and that allows us to tighten and loosen the actuator arm. So as we can see here, for example, the actuator arm is slipping straight into this pin here, straight up and down, quite easily. That's not what we want. We need it to be tight so it can hold the flapper shut until the desired boost level is reached. So we undo, we tighten up, and rule of thumb is that at least half the pin should be showing. So we need to drag the actuator rod onto the pin. We put our locking pin in so this does not fall off and cause issues. And we're ready for the dyno.